Hello, welcome to Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. My name is Carrie. Today we're going to be working on this water feature that's in our backyard. It's one of the things that we fell in love with when we first saw the place. We just loved the, the whole waterfall sound that was happening and um, we've had it turned off over the winter. We didn't want to deal with any freezing that might happen out here. And so now we're getting ready to get it started again, but I wanted to clean out all the muck because there was a lot of dirt, a lot of sludge that had been gathering up in the creek bed here and in the pond that's over here, which I'll show you in a minute. So we have the creek right over here and then we have a pump that's, uh, yes, wave hi Gideon. Hello. <laughs> so we have a pump that uh, pumps water from the creek and up here to this little waterfall area. And then it comes around down into this kind of kidney shaped uh, creek area with a flower bed in the center. And this was just beautiful with flowers last year. Iris, crocosmia, uh, poppies, just all kinds of flowers in here. So I'm looking forward to having a flower bed, more flowers in here. But the creek bed was just mucky and I wanted to get it cleaned up so that it was maybe a little more fun for our boys to play in. <laughs> so today we're working on cleaning all that out. Yesterday I did clean out some and I'll just kind of show you what I did. And then I'll take you over to the pond area and show you what we're doing today. So you can kind of see here, we have a turtle bin here. I don't know if the turtle survived the winter. We might have to move that along. But the water from the creek, when the creek gets kind of, you know, any, any kind of sludge in it, it will come up through the pipe and it, it comes down and gathers in the creek here. So you can see this was just full of sludge. You can see there's still some in there but I've dug a lot of it out, put it up there. And so it just kind of filters in a whole bunch of dirt all the way around. And then some of the plants over here were growing into the creek. So I dug all those out, pulled all those out. And over here, isn't that a cute little bridge that goes right across? <laughs> and then a cute little seating area. So anyway, then the pond, or then the creek comes back over here. It's not a very deep creek. And it comes into this kind of deeper area. That has a lot of sludge in it now too that I was trying to get out yesterday. I got some, but I wasn't successful in getting most of it. But then it comes down into here, and this is a really cool pond area. And they, the previous owners, tried to keep, what was it, trout in here, hun? I think they said trout. They were trying to keep trout in here, but there was some critter that came up the creek over there and was able to get in here and ate up all their trout. So not the best, probably not the best place to keep fish with all the critters, well, but we've seen a muskrat yeah, in, in the, in the main creek. I've heard muskrat are plant eaters though. Eh, whatever. They were thinking it was a, an otter or a mink or something. Yeah. We haven't seen it that. No, you never know. Could have moved on. So anyway, in here, can't really see very well but there's a bunch of plants growing underneath there water plants of some kind i want to get all of that out and then the bottom is also just full of that sludge so we're gonna use the pump for the waterfall before we put it back up in the waterfall and we're going to try to pump out as much of this as we can out into the creek because over there you know it the waterfall comes around down into here and then it empties into there so back into the creek so we're going to empty all this as much as we can into the creek get this all cleared out and then we should have a nice area i just want the boys to be able to play in here without all the the gross sludge that's in there so kind of like a little swimming area a little swimming hole for the boys so that's what we're up to today off the pump. The ice frozen? 
No, the water's not frozen. This had completely frozen over in the winter time, so the boys had some fun playing out here, trying to break the ice and stuff. <laughs> the ice was frozen. Well, the water's very still, but it's not frozen, Sunny Boy. Ice is frozen. Ice would be frozen, yes. <laughs> So I'm trying to connect this feed to the waterfall to this pipe because it came apart mm. and uh, so I'm just trying to reconnect it and it's proving to be needing a few more muscles and that's fine. But then with this extension I'll be able to put it in the middle roughly of the pond and it should get all the junk out. Oh good. At least the water. It won't get the junk out it actually. It won't get the It'll get the water out. Yeah and then you can get the junk out. Cool. So it should make your life a lot easier. And then of course, once we're ready to fill it back up, that's gonna be kind of fun to have the filling of the pond. Yeah. So I'm that. looking forward to that really yeah. a lot. So hopefully I can get this on here without too much more effort. Here, so I don't wanna help you. Having a <laughs> bugger of a time. Yes, I didn't want help. Hey puppy, I think you're in the way. Make a better door than a window, pup. You can't even see through sky dots. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Look. All right. Let's turn it on. Turn it on. Go down Hello here. people of the internet. <laughs> hey, hey.
put a little fishy in there. A little fishy? Yeah. Oh, fish. You see? I want to see the fish. I am going in there. So we're almost empty here. Yeah. And I started seeing some little creatures swim around. And I don't know if you can tell right there at the bottom. Uh, There's no, some little fish. The fish, uh, the fish were about to die. Yeah, I almost went in to rescue a fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's one over there. See the, see the shimmer? Uh, where is it? Right there. There's a fish right there. We need to rescue it. Some fish are going to die! <laughs> Okay, I want to try to rescue that fish there. Yeah, that is <laughs> Alright, we're going to try to rescue this fish. Wait! Rescue the fishy! Mommy! We, we can make the soil even bigger. Because of all this mud. We oh, can get there we go. He's in the water now. Oh, my feet. My foot is so cold. The mud is so cold. <laughs> So I am a little surprised. There's little tiny fish in here about that long. Don't know what kind they are. A um, little surprised. Probably shouldn't be too surprised, but that kind of changes a little bit of how I go about cleaning this. Kind of would like to save the fish if I can, but maybe try to get them out in the creek. But that also explains why I see a heron at our creek every now and then. We actually do have fish in our creek. So apparently in our pond too. So, the pond is almost empty. I think I'm gonna leave this amount of water in there for now and try to get this muck cleaned up that's out of the water area. And then we'll see what we can do about saving the fish if we can. Otherwise, maybe just leave some of it, some of the water in there and then fill it up. Of course, we're gonna fill it up with the fresh water from the creek, so. Just get to work on cleaning the rest of this and uh, get it nice and pretty looking. Just so you can get an idea of how much sludge is at the bottom here. <laughs> there I've hit bottom. Oops. Focus in on our squeeze in on there for you. So yeah, that much of the rake is still under sludge. <laughs> So, this is going to be fun to clean out. <laughs> There's some rocks in there. I see a walnut right there <laughs> from our walnut tree. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to clean out. What a joy. Well, here we are at the end of the day now and we've done quite a bit of work on our pond here. But we're not ending up getting all the sludge out, all the sludge. Um, we discovered little fish living in there, and I'm not sure what kind they are, but it almost looked like a baby rainbow trout or something. And we do know that they, there are some kind of fish up here that they've um, allowed to come in and put a counter to keep track of how many fish come through, but I can't remember exactly what kind of fish it is. So we decided not to empty out the the entirety of the sludge and we're kind of deciding maybe the boys really don't want to play in here so we're probably going to fix it up more with like lily pads and make it look really pretty just for looking at and maybe not so much for playing at. So we are about ready to start up the waterfall so this will start refilling and then we'll have the wonderful ambiance throughout the rest of the summer season. So just show you the pond here and then we'll show you the waterfall starting. So there's probably another at least four inches of sludge and then a few inches of water in there still. So it was proving to be quite a bit of work to get all that out because I was shoveling it out and putting it in buckets and then taking the buckets and emptying them along the creek to build up the creek where it had been uh, eroding along the side. So anyway, Brent and Cedric are over there 
working on some last minute adjustments. He went and got a piece to... Well, not really. No? Oh dear. I was tempted to replace the pipe because this stupid thing won't fit on. Mm. They didn't have a pipe big enough to fit on this. Uh oh. And so I decided I'd buy a torch to loosen that up to try mm -hmm. and fit it on. So it would, because the, the, the one up top fits on, but it, I mean, it's jammed on hard. Yeah. This is not, this pipe is not meant to go connect to this item. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh. And um, yeah, we're still having some, some struggles with it. Yeah. But hopefully, uh, shoot, hopefully this can work. I just need to warm it up a little more and mm -hmm. get it a little more flexed. I guess they don't like going upside down. Hold that, would you? Put the dog down. <laughs> here, here, throw a little more. There you go, just like that. Okay, we're gonna call that as good as it's gonna get. I could explore a solid pipe, mm -hmm. but that would just be a pain. Yeah. <laughs> of course, this is quite the pain as well. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't have to do this again before we change it up to something a little better anyway. You can see the pump goes right down there into the water, into the creek. Now that is a new location for the pump. It was on this side mm -hmm. last season. I moved it over here because there's a embedded piece uh, of uh, cement, cement concrete on this side actually, and there's, so I can get it deeper over here. And then I put the cinder blocks and a new screen in there to keep all the junk from getting sucked into the pump. You hear the frog? And then for some reason, this was never cemented. So mm. I'm, I'm gonna hope that it still will work for us. <laughs> okay, Cedric, I need a little more help. Feed me some more pipe, please. We have a little turtle in here. We weren't sure she had survived the winter. We, we did put a little water heater in there to keep the water from freezing over. But we were starting to clean this out today and Brent found that she was still alive, so. We have the waterfall coming down and it, part of it comes into her tank here and then we have a hole on that side to keep, keep it draining so it doesn't overflow. So, Okay, right. let her rip, son. Go for it. Woohoo! <laughs> Ew, it's mucky. <laughs> It'll clean up though. bit much of flow in there for her. That'll have to be stopped up some, but... That's too much water. That's very much. <laughs> I don't remember it being this strong before, was it? No, the, uh, 
Well, maybe it was, but I don't no, remember. No, the, the pump was a little bit clogged, clogged oh. at the end of last season. So we got we got a lot of flow. <laughs> yes, we do. I like it. And it's slowly making its way around the kidney-shaped flower bed here. See the water's already cleaned up now. Don't leave this water, the water heater thingy out here. What? Pick up that water heater, please, and we'll take it inside to keep it somewhere till next winter. It's the turtle tank heater. Hey, it's coming around. For as strong as that flow seems, it sure doesn't seem to be flowing down here very quickly. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's picking up now. <laughs> Yay! I really love the sound of this waterfall. It's so relaxing. Uh, there's a bit of trash over here. I don't want it getting down into the big... Ugh. There we go. So it's kind of interesting there's like a puddle big deeper pool over there and then another little pool over here i'm not sure what purpose those serve that's a lot of fun <laughs> but when that turtle tank isn't here doesn't the water wouldn't the water flow over here as well because i think it kind of flowed both ways when that tended to but i don't yeah think that's gonna happen this time no yeah a lot of muck coming through again yep oh look at that build up should probably dig that out so it doesn't go down into the pool. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> yeah, get the rake in there and go over this side and just sweep it that way to grab it out. There you go. Oh yep. yeah. Pick it up and just put it through side. Put it in there. the flower bed area. Thank you, son. Here, come get these uh, pine cones before they go down. All right. There we go. I'm going to come down here now and start filling the pool. Give those fishies a nice bit of fresh water. Nice. Yay. <laughs> So it took about half an hour to empty. See how long it takes to fill. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make my own video. 